so today is likely the last video I'll be filming before becoming a mama of two. If you guys have been following me for a while and follow me over on Instagram, you know that I am expecting baby number two. And baby number two can arrive at any time now, so I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed and excited and nervous and feeling just all of the feels right now. So I kind of wanted to close out this chapter with one more video for you guys. I also wanted to address a new chapter in my life, which is my hair. I posted about this on Instagram. I recently got a little mommy makeover thanks to my incredible hairdresser who gave me the most beautiful natural baby lights and wispy bangs to kind of help me celebrate my my second journey into motherhood so I'm going to leave all of her information in my description box below because I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about what she did what kind of color she used and what kind of haircut she gave me so feel free to reach out to her especially if you are in the Toronto and GTA area I cannot recommend her enough and I love you Yari thank you so much for making me feel my best always. All right, so now that I've addressed the two kind of elephants in the room, I wanna hop into today's video. Last time I did this style of video, you guys seem to loved it, but I did get a few requests to do a more budget-friendly version of it. It's about sharing the secrets of women who always seem to look put together, but on a budget. So you guys know how much I love my basics. They are the foundations of my wardrobe and I think that everyone needs high quality basics in their wardrobe. And a lot of the time you can find high quality basics such as t-shirts and denim on the high street for really affordable prices and they're still going to look super high end and super high quality. There's just certain things that you should look for in these types of basics to make sure that they have that luxe look to them. For example, when you're shopping for white t-shirts, make sure that they sit properly on your shoulders and they fit your silhouette, that they don't tug or pull or the fabric is too thin. You don't want the fabric to be see-through. You want it to be a nice opaque fabric, but still breathable so that it's comfortable and long enough that you're able to tuck it in. I feel like with t-shirts, this is one of the key elements that makes them look expensive. When they're long enough that you're able to tuck them into your bottoms, it always looks a lot more high-end versus a cropped t-shirt and when it comes to the denim fabric itself I look for a denim that is more structured that has less stretch to it because that type of denim tends to look a lot more expensive than a super tight stretchy fabric that kind of looks like a jegging so it's no secret that I love designer and I'm a huge believer in mixing high and low what I mean by that is mixing designer pieces with low Lower priced items from the high street and I know the designer items especially ready-to-wear pieces or designer accessories can be really expensive especially nowadays that's why I always suggest to you guys to shop pre-loved before going directly to the boutique sometimes you can find some incredible hidden gems that are basically like new and they look incredible they look super expensive and cost only a fraction of the cost if you guys live in Toronto I wanted to just mention a few of my favorite spots to shop for luxury designer pre-loved pieces. I love Haute Classics, I love VSP Consignment, Fashionably Yours, I Miss You Vintage. These are my top, top, top. And if you're ever visiting Toronto or if you live in Toronto, I can't recommend these boutiques enough. I am a huge believer in taking care of your pieces to make them look expensive and last a long time. And I know the dry cleaning can add up, it can get really expensive, especially if you're on a budget. That's why a lot of the times, if I know that I need to dry clean something, I always try to YouTube an alternative that I can DIY myself before taking it to the dry cleaning. I have a perfect example of something that happened just recently. When I was on vacation with my family in Miami, I wore this stunning yellow silk dress, which I will insert a picture of from my Instagram here. And I was out for dinner and splattered some 
oil on my beautiful silk dress, which I took to the dry cleaners the next day and they quoted me an obscene amount of money to remove that oil stain from my silk dress just because of the fabric. And I decided to take it home and do my own research, try to see if there was an alternative to try to get it out myself. And lo and behold, there was. I'm pretty sure it was applying cornstarch to the affected area to kind of soak up all of the oil and then apply a stain remover to it and then put it on a very, very gentle cycle with nothing else in the washing machine and just let it hang dry and it was like good as new. So don't always rush to go to the dry cleaners. Try to look for DIY alternatives that you can do at home because it can save you a lot of money. It's also no secret that I have a thing for designer shoes. Obviously, I have a whole shoe wall behind me. I love my designer shoes, but I learned when it comes to classic timeless pieces that help you look put together, like a classic pointy toe pump or a simple strappy sandal, you don't always have to go designer. Trust me, you can get the same look for a lot less as long as you look for high quality materials. There's a lot of brands out there that make kind of like designer dupes, if you will, that have that designer look and feel without the crazy design designer price tag. Some examples are Tony Bianco, Shoots. I really love their quality of Shoots shoes and I have a couple pairs in my wardrobe that I've had for many, many years. So there is a way to get the look for less. So don't feel like you need to go out and splurge on a designer pair of shoes to look put together because that's definitely not the case. Same thing goes for designer handbags. Again, you guys know how much I love my designer handbags, but I truly believe that if you look for for a classic kind of structured silhouette in a neutral color in a luxe material, you can totally get the same look and feel of a designer handbag for a lot less and still look very put together. I get asked a lot what are my kind of low to mid tier price range favorite handbags that are made out of super high quality luxe materials are. And right at the top of my head, I wanted to mention Polen. Polen is one of my favorite non luxury designer handbag brands that makes beautiful, beautiful handbags made out of the highest quality leather. And they just have this beautiful, unique structure to them. And they will always make any outfit look so much more put together. Another way to save money when it comes to accessories that still look amazing and put together is to look for high quality vegan alternatives. I really love the brand Matinat. They do a really good job with high quality vegan leather at affordable price points. So there are options out there. You just need to take the time to research it and find it and just take the time to really invest in pieces that not only look amazing, but are practical and functional and versatile for your particular lifestyle. So there are a few pairs of shoes in my wardrobe that I tend to wear a lot more than majority of my shoes. And over time, they're gonna experience wear and tear. And I know that the easiest reaction is to think that you need to replace these items for a new pair, but that's simple not the case. I've learned from past experience that a lot of the time with things like shoes and handbags, you can usually refurbish them for a fraction of the cost of buying a replacement. And it's gonna look just as beautiful, just as good. And it's gonna allow you to look a lot more put together when you've taken something and refurbished it to make that item look its best. So one of my favorite topics to talk about is jewelry. For those of you who don't know, I used to own my own jewelry company so I know a lot about the ins and outs of the jewelry industry and how overpriced certain pieces are unless they're like a branded investment piece that will go up and appreciate in value over time but if you are in the market for diamond jewelry for example I wanted to give you some budget-friendly alternatives that have the same look the same feel but for a fraction of the cost and will still help you look put together so one of my favorite alternatives to natural diamonds is lab grown diamonds I personally personally prefer lab grown diamonds over natural diamonds for several reasons. One, the sustainability factor. It's a lot more
more eco-friendly, it's a lot more sustainable, it's a lot better for the environment. The second reason I prefer lab-grown diamonds over natural diamonds is also the fact that the quality is so much more superior than to a natural diamond. For a natural diamond to be super clear and have a perfect color and to have minimal inclusions is very, very hard to find and can be very, very expensive. Whereas a lab-grown diamond, it's still gonna have those natural inclusions. But if you're comparing the same color, same cut, same everything of a lab-grown diamond versus a natural diamond, the lab-grown diamond is gonna be way more affordable. Another incredible alternative to diamonds is moissanite. I personally love moissanite and it's really hard to tell the difference between a real diamond and a moissanite and it has very, very similar properties to a diamond and it's another great way to have beautiful jewelry that looks expensive without spending an arm and a leg on it. So one of the simplest ways to look put together and to do it on a budget and have like a capsule wardrobe where everything pretty much goes with everything and you can mix and match so many different pieces in your wardrobe without having a ton to work with is just sticking to a neutral color palette. Stick with browns and grays, blacks, whites, beiges. You're gonna be able to mix and match these items in a plethora of ways and you're always gonna look amazing and put together with little to no thought. When you're shopping for pieces to add into your wardrobe, you want to think about their versatility factor. Think about things that will get you through the long haul, that are transitional, that can be worn in a multitude of different ways. This way you can get the most out of your items without spending a lot of money on them. And again, when you factor in how wearable they are, sticking with a neutral color palette and focusing on fabrics that have that luxe look to them, you're always going to look put together. So in my opinion, one of the things that helps me kind of complete my look and help me look more put together, if you will, is wearing a fancy smelling perfume. I have some luxury perfumes in my collection, but to be honest, I rarely, rarely reach for them. Most of the time I reach for my oil perfumery or Okja perfumes because I find that they last on the skin a lot longer and I prefer how they work with my pheromones better. And they are so much more affordable than the luxury alternatives. I've mentioned oil perfumery and Okja on my channel like so many times before, and there's a reason for it because they are absolutely amazing amazing. Majority of their scents are inspired by these luxury designer perfumes, so you can get the same scent for a lot less. They also have a lot of their in-house fragrances that smell absolutely insane, that are very unique. So if you are like me and you love fragrance, but you don't necessarily want to spend a couple hundred dollars on a bottle of alcohol, essentially, look into Oil Perfumery and Okja. I also have a discount code with them. It's just Nikki Sky 15 which will get you an additional 15% off and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I am a strong believer that beautiful nails on your hands and your feet really kind of complete a look and help you look more put together. And before I could afford to get regular manicures and pedicures, I was DIYing it all by myself at home. It's so easy just to Google or go on YouTube and search for tutorials on how to give yourself a perfect mani at home. All you need to do is invest in a few tools to achieve a perfect mani at home. And it's one of my personal favorite budget-friendly ways to always look put together. Another thing that I used to do back when I had a lot more time and a lot less money was to DIY my own hair and skin treatments. I used to love to make my own DIY hair masks and DIY skin masks. To be honest, I still kind of do that today. If I have a pimple, for example, one of my favorite treatments for it is just putting a little dab of honey on it. I know it's not really a DIY skin treatment, but if you don't have a blemish serum or oil on hand and you need something that's super quick and effective, it's a great alternative to that. I just personally know that a lot of the incredible effective hair care treatments out there and skincare treatments out there can get really, really expensive. And I think having beautiful hair and beautiful 
wrinkled skin that looks like it's been taken care of really helps someone look more put together and like they take care of themselves, which is why if you can't afford getting high-end hair masks and skin masks, you can DIY them at home. There's so many amazing tutorials online from a lot of different creators out there, including myself. Shameless mention, I've made a ton of these on this channel as well as on my hair channel. So I will link all of that in my description box below in case you wanna check it out. So it's also no secret that I love my sunglasses. It's one of the accessories in my wardrobe that helps me personally feel more put together and like my outfit is complete. But because I've tried so many different brands over the years, I realized that you can easily get the same look for a lot less if you look for more affordable options out there. A lot of high street brands are making sunglasses that are made from essentially the same materials as like the high-end brands but for a fraction of the cost and also take inspiration from the designs from the luxury brands. So don't feel that you need to splurge on expensive sunglasses to look put together because that's definitely not the case either. And back to the topic of jewelry, you guys know how much I love my gold jewelry. I mean 99% of my jewelry is gold especially the jewelry that I wear on a daily basis it's solid gold but if you're on a budget and you can't afford solid gold jewelry but you want the look of solid gold jewelry go with gold vermeil gold vermeil basically has the same look as solid gold but it's way more affordable one of my favorite brands that makes really beautiful gold vermeil jewelry is majuri and they explain the process and difference of gold vermeil versus solid gold on their website really beautifully so i'm going to link them in my description box below for you to check out but you really can't tell the difference when you are wearing it and it has that same luxe look and feel for a fraction of the cost and will definitely help you look more put together for a lot lot less all right you guys so that wraps up today's video and probably the last video i'm going to be filming before baby number two arrives i just want to thank you guys so much for the love and support and for kind of being patient with me and sticking it out with me especially for my instagram followers if you have been following me on instagram you know that this pregnancy has has been really really hard for me I've been dealing with chronic sciatica I've been in a lot of pain for the last few weeks just sitting down and filming this video has been a struggle for me to be honest but I'm just trying to stay positive and focus on the light at the end of the tunnel that hopefully very very soon I'll be holding my baby in my arms and I'm not gonna be in pain anymore so with that being said I want to just send all of you so much love and light and say thank you again from the bottom of my heart for all of your love and support and I hope hope that I'll be able to get back to filming again very very soon as always I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and I will hopefully see you very very soon in my next video